Hey everyone, in this training footage video, I'm talking about some new rep scheme that I'm trying to work out to see if it makes a difference in building strength and also to fine tune technique. The rep scheme I'm using is singles, uh, multiple sets of one rep. Last week I did five singles on squat, bench, and deadlift. This week I'm doing four singles on squat, overhead press, and deadlift. The bench press is just going to be three sets of five reps, just moderate weight. Just like last week it was three sets of five reps on overhead press, moderate weight, and that's at the end. So I do all the singles first, the big lifts that I want to work on. Last week I did five singles, this week I'm doing four singles. After increasing the weight by five pounds, the weight is probably 85% to 90%. I'm estimating it's been a while since I tried maxing, but where I am right now it's it feels like maybe 85% or, or higher and it's heavy weight but with the use of singles I'm able to focus on getting one good clean rep instead of being pressured to finish the whole set of multiple reps just something to try out this week and next last week this week maybe a, another week and then after that lower the weight and start doing more volume work but during this phase is more high intensity, lower reps, lower volume. It's also there is also a secondary benefit of not getting exhausted or fatigued, especially during the uh, hot summer months. It's very easy to succumb to either heat cramps or heat exhaustion, and the singles that rep scheme it kind of acts like a safeguard against getting overworked and it just exhausted. Even on deadlifts, one rep, at the end it feels like kind of winded or about to pass out. I guess it's just from using all the energy to stabilize, brace the core, and uh, maybe I hold my breath. I, I didn't focus on that, but it's possible. So this next phase is just high intensity, low volume, trying out singles, it lets me focus on the technique, cleaning up anything that I feel is preventing me from executing the lift as with the uh, maximum amount of uh, effort and the maximum strength that I can muster up with solid clean technique and it's it's temporary it's kind of like a peaking type thing but I'm hoping to see what I can do see what one executed what well executed rep looks like and uh, from there adjust as necessary another point to note is when I'm looking at my squat technique I notice it's when I slow it down, I, I notice I, I do approach parallel, and there's a point where it goes slightly below parallel. I have to look very closely, but I believe the depth is slightly below parallel. And I've been trying to tinker with that and see if there's any way to, um, I guess, get better at coming out of that bottom portion of the movement and also not getting stuck halfway through it gets a little bit slow when I'm about to finish the rep on squats it's like I get stuck slightly and what I'm going to try to do is maybe try pause squats but not at the bottom in the hole I'm going to try pause squats after coming out of the hole going I guess halfway between the bottom portion and then the lockout pausing right there and holding and trying to become stronger in that position getting used to holding weight there 
so I don't get pinned down that at that position.